If you clicked on today's video, it's because you want to know how I added two inches to my arms in just 12 weeks. Now, you might be thinking that this isn't possible, but I promise you that it absolutely is if you just follow this insane method that I used for three months straight to put crazy amounts of muscle onto my arms. For a very long time, I was somebody who was crazy insecure about the size of my arms, how they looked in t-shirts, how they looked in basketball jerseys, and would always cover up with a jacket or a jumper when I was in public or in the gym. So it really got me thinking, I have to do something about this. I can't go about my life being insecure about my arms. That's absolutely crazy. So what do I need to do? So that put me onto a path of doing all the research that I could, looking at what worked previously, looking at what worked well with my clients, but also looking all over the internet, including YouTube, at guys with some of the biggest arms around and what their advice was. So stick around in today's video where I show you the exact plan and all the methods that I accumulated to add two inches to my arms. So the question that you need to ask yourself is not what are you doing right it's what are you doing wrong so many people that I work with come to me because they need that plan they need someone with expertise on how to grow muscle and the conclusion that I've come to by working with so many guys in similar situations is that people aren't training with enough training frequency and if they are training with enough frequency they're actually training the muscle way too heavy in order to connect with it and get enough training volume on top of that I mean come on how many of you are guilty of by bicep curling way too heavy. We've all been there, it looks cool, we're trying to impress our friends, we're trying to impress that girl in the gym, but trust me, it doesn't work. So if you're stood there in the gym, trying to curl the 30s, trying to curl the 40s, and when I say that, I mean kilos, then you're already doing something wrong. You need to bring that weight down, connect with the muscle better, and get more trained stimulus. And what I've found, and what a lot of the research shows, is that arm training responds extremely well to high repetitions. They're never going to indefinitely get stronger. If they could, we'd all be curling absolutely monstrous amounts of weight. But when you look at the guys with the biggest arms in the world, what sort of weight are they curling? It's actually not a lot. But what they are very good at is training them with enough frequency, enough volume, and connecting with that muscle exceptionally well. So enough messing around. Let's get into the three methods that I use to add two inches to my arms. Now, before you get excited and start looking at the different parts of the video, I want you to know that there are three parts to this method. I want you to watch each one very closely as each of them are just as important as the other one. You are not going to add two inches to your arms if you don't follow all three of these methods. So let's get into the first method. This is all about training frequency and specificity. I know if you're watching this video that you just tag your arm training on to the back end of your regular training. So if you're doing a push day, I know you're doing triceps at the end. If you're doing a pull day, I know you're doing biceps at the end because that's what I did. That's what my clients did. And as much as this absolutely works and this is absolutely not incorrect, if the goal is to max maximize the size of your arms, then this has to change. And you might be thinking, well, wouldn't it be backwards to train my biceps at the start of a back day? Won't my back be weaker? Well, yes, it will affect your back training. Absolutely. But again, if the goal is bigger biceps, then we need to specify. So what I want you to do is start off by training your arms, that's both biceps and triceps, at least three times a week. Within these three sessions, you need to be training your arms right at the very beginning when you're not fatigued and when you're at your strength. If you wait till the end of the session, you're carrying too much fatigue and you will probably half ass your training. So on your first session of the week, I want you to be training five sets of biceps and five sets of triceps right at the start of your session. Within these five sets, you're going to pick two exercises. Your first exercise is going to be three working sets and your second exercise is going to be two work sets. When you come to the second and third day of training, you have to change these exercises. So overall for the week, you'll train biceps with six different exercises and triceps with six different exercises. This gives the arms plenty of room to be targeted from different angles and with a different stimulus, which all the research shows is better for maximizing muscle growth. So once you've completed these five sets of biceps and these five sets of triceps at the start of your workout, you're going to carry on with your regular workout. Now you might be somebody who trains five days per week, but you might be somebody who trains three days per week. And we're not going to talk about specifics of the exact training split based off how many days you train. But what I am going to tell you is that you have to train your arms at least three times per week and train them right at the start of the next session. So for your exercise selection, let's start with the biceps. I want you to pick a standing dumbbell curl, a seated dumbbell curl, an inclined dumbbell curl on a 45 degree bench, a single arm high cable curl, a low cable curl, and a preacher curl. For your tri
tricep selection, I want you to pick a long rope tricep extension, a long rope overhead tricep extension, a single arm cable tricep extension, a dumbbell skull crusher, a dumbbell tape press, and a dumbbell floor press. And the key with these exercises are that you stimulate the muscle hard enough by contracting the muscle in a way where you're gonna get a really good pump and you're still going to use progressive overload. So make sure that every session you get an extra rep or an extra little bit of weight on the bar and that will cover any muscle growth that you need. So now that we talked about the arm training specifically, I want to talk about part two, which is going to come down to your nutrition. This is just as vital as the arm training because if you do not eat enough food, then you will absolutely not grow. So what I need you to do in whatever way you are eating right now, we need to be eating an additional 1,000 calories every single day. This is going to take care of any additional fuel you need for all of that extra training frequency into your arms. If you are underfed, you will undergrow, and that is absolutely not what we want. So be pretty brutal with the amount of calories that you are eating. If you have a day or two where you under eat, you will not get the results that I'm talking about in this video. If you don't know how many calories you are eating currently, or how many calories you need, then I really recommend that you download my fitness pal and begin tracking your food. Alternatively, I'm going to put a calorie calculator in the description below so that you can work out the amount of calories you need to gain weight. Whatever number that gives you, I recommend adding an additional 500 calories for the next 12 weeks whilst you follow this program. With these additional calories, make sure that you're not just eating crap foods, make sure you're eating highly nutritious, high protein so that you can maximize muscle growth. So yes, this means eating protein at every single meal and I recommend 40 to 50 grams at every meal that you eat and focusing on eating a very large amount of carbs with this additional 1,000 calories. If you follow this, I promise that your arms will grow. Now, onto part three and the craziest part of this method. You're going to implement something that is called feeder workouts. Now, if you've never heard about this before, it is an absolutely crazy method to try and something that I've tried multiple times in the past. Now, when I tried it in the past, I didn't have much success as I was not consistent enough with it and then did not believe in it. However, when I tried it this time around and ate enough food in order to support all of this training and it absolutely worked. So if you're not aware of it, feeder workouts were pioneered by the fitness influencer Rich Piano. Now, most of what comes out of Rich's mouth is absolutely crazy as it is and he's known for these crazy techniques and methods for growing muscle. I'd looked online and saw various reviews on whether it worked or not, but some of them caught my eye and people were growing as much as one to two inches on their arms in a very short amount of time. So I thought I'd give it a go. So to perform a feeder workout, you're going to have to train your arms every single day, specifically every single night before you go to bed. Once you've completed your feeder workout, you do not eat any food, you get in bed, you sleep, recover and grow. And to do these feeder workouts, you're going to need a pair of 15 pound dumbbells or something around 7.5 kilograms. You're going to get your arms thoroughly warmed up as it's quite heavy on the joints. And your first exercise that you're going to perform is a dumbbell skull crusher lying flat on the floor. For these dumbbell skull crushes, you're going to perform 100 reps. Now you might not perform 100 reps straight. In fact, I guarantee that you won't. You might complete 30 reps and then take a short rest and go again. So keep completing these reps as rest pause sets until you complete 100 reps. Once you've done this, you're going to sit on your knees and you're going to perform a dumbbell hammer curl with that same weight for 60 reps. Again, if you can't complete 60 reps in one set, you're going to perform rest pause sets. Now you're going to perform this for three sets on the tricep skull crushers and three sets on the dumbbell hammer curls and then you are done. As you can imagine, the pump you will get from this is absolutely insane and for the first five or six days, your arms are going to be very sore. But the body adapts extremely well to what you throw at it. So it will recover and it will bounce back and grow. I promise you that. Now you're probably asking, do I do the feeder workouts on the same days where I do my normal arm workouts? And the answer is yes. So three days a week, you're actually going to be training your arms two times per day. And I know what you're thinking, Connor, this sounds like absolute craziness. However, I've got the results to prove it and it absolutely does work. And after stopping doing this, because of course you can't keep up feeder workouts for the rest of your life, you might think that you lose the gains that you made, but this is absolutely not true. Well, not from my experience anyway. So I'm not saying this is scientifically proven, scientifically backed. I can only go from my personal results and I'm showing you my personal experience. So I recommend that you give it a try because in my opinion, it absolutely does work. So to recap, we need a high training frequency of training the arms three times per week. We need to add an additional 1,000 calories per day to our diet, mainly from proteins and carbohydrates. And we're going to perform a daily feeder workout on the arms. So you might be thinking, I will never recover from this. This won't work. But what I recommend you do is just give it a try. For the sake of a few weeks, you can absolutely handle that to judge it for yourself. And
and maybe get the same progress. Now, if you're thinking you might have to be supplementing with something like steroids in order to achieve results like this, well, some of my natural clients have achieved upwards of an inch on their arms with this method. So it's definitely worth giving a go. In what other circumstance would you put an inch on your arms in such a short amount of time? So be prepared for the rest of your training just to take a little bit of a setback, but enjoy the monstrous gains that you will see in your arms. So guys, I hope you took something away from this video. I hope you took something away from this crazy method and I hope you're willing to give it a try. If you do, please come back to the video and leave a comment and let me know what results that you got. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.